This PetroSkills Petro Academy skill module discusses flow assurance fundamentals for surface facilities. This section discusses why this topic is important. Applications include, but are not limited to, how wellhead desanders work, location options, removable sand grain size, size and weight, and other desander features. What wax is, the problems caused by wax, and how to mitigate them. What asphaltines are, the problems caused by asphaltine in the field, and how to mitigate them. Different types of scale commonly encountered in oil and gas production operations, the problems they cause, and how to mitigate them. Estimate the hydrate inhibitor injection requirements for gas pipeline applications to ensure adequate inhibition. To minimize production restriction or shut-in and prevent loss of revenue, we must prevent problems caused by sand production, wax formation, asphaltine formation, scale formation, and hydrate formation. Poor prevention and treatment planning and strategy can significantly impair the effectiveness and availability of downstream process equipment, which in turn reduces profitability. Knowing the kinetics and or mechanisms of solid formation and their inhibitions are critical to do any type of solid formation treatment or prevention in our processing facilities. If we select the correct inhibitor type and dosage with suitable injection point and mixing device, it will allow us to inhibit or prevent solid formation and deposition effectively. Using a well-designed wellhead desander with suitable pressure rating upstream of wellhead choke will remove the sand and protect the choke. In addition, it reduces deposition of sand in the downstream equipment. Alternatively, a well-designed sand jetting equipment installed in the separator and or installing a wellstream desander to remove sand upstream of separators protects the downstream equipment effectively. The business impact of selecting inadequately sized desanders or hydrate inhibitors and scale inhibitors, wax pore point dispersant or asphaltine solvent treatment can result in loss in process efficiency and may have an impact on the amount of production that the facility can process due to inadequate actual capacity. On the other hand, there is also a risk that the facility is over-designed resulting in excess capital expense due to purchasing equipment that is too large. Sand production causes two types of operation problems in surface facilities as follows. Erosion of piping and fitting like chokes, elbows and fittings, and valve internals and trim. High velocities can be very problematic from an integrity standpoint. Deposition and accumulation of sands reduce separator residence time. Plugging of plant piping, subsea pipelines, plugging of instrumentation connections or relief valves, and under deposition corrosion. In our opinion, general production problems are caused by deposition. Based on the production profile and sand analysis, the production operators have reliability duties to monitor key vessels and take specific interventions to keep this under control by providing the bypass around a control valve on the liquid side and bypasses around chokes. Also consider provisions to remove sand or the need to have 100% redundancy. Crude oil gelling problems causes the following operation problems. Higher pumping pressures needed as oil viscosity increases. Reduced production export volume due to reduction of flow cross-sectional area. The restart pressure is that pumping pressure necessary to get the fluids moving in a pipe after there has been an interruption in pumping. If it coincides with a significant temperature decrease, the fluids may have set solid. In some cases, the restart pressure will exceed the safe working pressure of the system and result in extra work and costs to return the system to operation. Finally, shut-in flow lines may become irretrievably blocked. The list of adverse effect on oil production operation due to asphaltine precipitation is shown. Similar problems may also be due to the presence of paraffin waxes. Reduction in well productivity normally occurs in miscible flood. 
These photos show deposition of scale inside piping or tubing of heat transfer equipment when solubility limits of one or more components is exceeded. While various mechanisms can cause scale formation, temperature, pressure, and composition affect the choice of mechanism. As an example for calcium carbonate, CaCO3, the reduction in pressure releases dissolved carbon dioxide from produced water and increases the produced water's pH, which reduces the solubility of CaCO3 and leads to scale deposit. Why are we concerned about water in natural gas? A few reasons are, first, liquid water aids in corrosion, which increases pipeline maintenance and in some cases can cause pipeline failure. Liquid water can also cause solid hydrates to form at temperatures well above the freezing point of water. Hydrates can be thought of as dirty ice that burns. The concern with hydrates is that they can turn into solid plugs which can block flow through pipelines or process equipment. Lastly, liquid water will freeze at temperatures below the freezing point. For these reasons, we need to be very concerned about managing water in natural gas.